Hey, now it's um, Saturday, the 12th of September. Um, I'm gonna keep it short, but I'm hap I'm hopefully I'm gonna have some good news here. I have a business call coming up today regarding getting my latest works released on vinyl. A label is interested and so I'm happy to at least tell you that. Right quick, what have I listened to recently? Bury My Heart at Wounded Knee, G Gila, Popol Vuh, with a female vocalist, basically. I love this album. Blind Pull, and this came up again. I just bought it recently. Jade Warrior, strange band. I really like this music though. Rough Around the Edges, and yet peaceful too. Strange combination. Another one I've shown recently, but this is what I played yesterday. Norman Connors, Dark of Light, and uh, this, I'll say it again, you want to know where Kamasi Washington got his sound. I mean, you can hear all of the elements of the Kamasi Washington sound on, on Norman Connors albums. These are brilliant. And one of my favorite Miles albums, Sorcerer, just killer. Just killer. Cicely Tyson. I think he just had a birthday. I think he's like 90. One more. Rain Ghost. Um, Canadian band. Um, because it came out on a really small label, limited in amounts, it is collectible. Musically, this is uh, just okay. Uh, it's not a typical sound, so that I give it that, but it's still um, kind of primitive. It's like they're still figuring out how to play. This is a reissue. Okay, last one I haven't shown. East of Eden, Things. This is two of their albums put together as a twofer for the German market. Snafu and Mercator Projected. I like both albums really well. Truly a progressive band. Everyone's heard the violinist in this band because he played the violin on Baba O'Reilly, the big hit by The Who. So, I'm w not going to necessarily wish myself luck with this business call. It's more like, well, let's see what happens. I put it out and they responded very, very positively. You know, wow, yeah, let's do this. So let's see if this is going to happen. Um, I like the energy though. The first record label that I approached, because I've been thinking about this realistically, about what could realistically happen. And I'm really happy to say that the first label that I approached responded, thanks for thinking of us. We really want to do this. Now let's see how this goes if it happens because business is business and I'm not interested in business so um, if things are smooth and easy and clear we're going forward but if there's bullshit involved I'm no I'm not doing it but I can tell you that chances of this latest round of my music that I've been playing live and people are really responding positively to Looks like it could come out on vinyl. That's the whole idea is to put it out on vinyl. I can get it on CD. That is easily affordable. And the other reason I'm not doing a fundraiser is because I've already done this. I've released records and I've done all the work myself. It's a lot of work and I don't want to do it. It's very stressful and time consuming. So hopefully I'll be <clears throat> able to come back with some more good news. You all stay well. 
there's nothing I can do about it, but the West Coast is on fire. My family and a lot of friends are out there, and uh, there's nothing I can do. It's like, it's like hell on earth in a lot of ways right now. It really is. But I will end with a smile. <laughs>